Hello, um, my name is Dr Fiona Lewis and I was um, a part of the guideline development group um, tasked by the British Association of Dermatologists to produce the new guidelines on the management of lichen sclerosis. Uh, these will be published shortly in the British Journal of Dermatology. So why did we do this study? The uh, previous uh, guidelines on the management of lichen sclerosis were published in 2010 and we needed to update these um, going through the uh, more recent literature. So how did we do it? Um, we screened over 2,000 papers and then analysed 15 in a more detailed and uh, qualitative way. And 255 were uh, then included um, as case series and case reports. There is a paucity of randomised controlled trials um, in the management of lichen sclerosis. Um, but there were some studies included. We then used the GRADE methodology uh, to produce guidelines. These uh, used the evidence gleaned from the literature and a, a series of recommendations is then um, uh, published. So as a result of this we found 31 recommendations for the treatment of lichen sclerosis and 9 for further research. What did we find? Um, all the evidence points to an ultra-potent topical steroid being the treatment of choice uh, in lichen sclerosis and a three-month uh, regime of this should be offered to all uh, patients. Uh, men with urinary symptoms or maiatal involvement do need um, surgical referral early in the pathway. We didn't find any evidence uh, for the management of extragenital lichen sclerosis and so this has been highlighted as an area for future research. How are they relevant? Um, we hope that we produce guidelines uh, across primary and secondary care with clear uh, reasons when to refer the patient for specialist advice. We've also used them to update the patient information leaflets and we do hope that you'll find them very useful uh, in your clinical practice um, and that patients will also be able to access the right uh, care for this uh, condition. We hope that you'll find them very useful.